morning. Good morning. So we're on our way to Spuha Beach and there's three cenotes there as well and we're gonna go to two of them. Cenote Azul. Is it Azul? <laughs> yeah it is. Azul. And Cenote Cristalino. So we're really excited. We got all our food ready. Yeah, Jordan unfortunately broke his sunglasses, but we'll have to make do. Yeah, we're excited and ready to go. We're just about to get the taxi um, into town and then we're gonna get a, a colectivo from town. So see you there. Stamped and ready to go. So we've just made it to Cenote Azul. So if anybody saw our last video, this is where we actually wanted to come after Acumel, but we were too sunburned to get here. After you get in the Colectivo, the way it works is you just have to ask them to stop at like Cenote Azul, or you can ask them to stop at a place along from here, from uh, Playa del Carmen to Tulum. Uh, they stop and it's right on the main street. Very, very short walk down to where the Cenote is. now. If you're from England, then you probably don't know what a cenote is, but most of the people from America would. It's, they're like- It's a paradise. <laughs> it's like a network of underground uh, water tunnels, isn't it? That come up and the cenote, and the cenote is actually where they surface. So it's like a pool of fresh water that's like got minerals and uh, fish and some are, some are better for diving, some are better for swimming. They're all connected underground as well. Yeah, they're all meant to be connected. There's apparently like 6,000 in... 600 or 6,000? I think it's 6,000 in uh, Mexico. Okay, so we're just gonna get stuck in now, basically. See what's around, see all the little fishes. Oh wait. So we've just been swimming around the cenote and hit loads of fish here. It's like a little tiny garden of Eden, like in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's literally incredible. You can snorkel all the way around it and there's just like blue, blue waters and fish like all throughout, all throughout the entire cenote. Apparently the waters are blue because of the minerals that are in the cenote. We've just got a little friend coming to, get, coming to try and grab our food. That scared him off. We've, uh, there's not really that much here in terms of like restaurants or anything like that. So it's about 120 pesos to get in per person. Ooh, thank you. And then once you're in here, there's like a little store that you can buy some food and drink at. But the main attraction is obviously the actual cenote, which has just got loads of fish. I think it's the best cenote that we've been to so far in Mexico, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, more to do here than any others. We paid we paid like three or 300, 350 pesos to get into some cenotes and there's like basically nothing to do and there. And they've not been worth it yet. Yeah, not worth one. it at all. This is definitely, definitely worth coming to. Is it good, the food? Mm. It's coming back. It's like a little... So it's around 12 o'clock. We are having lunch because we've been swimming and we're really hungry. Um, something to look out for. I can't concentrate with our reptile coming towards me. Uh, something to do, or like a side note, would be to get here as early as possible, especially if you want to take pictures because it's so crowded now and it was almost empty this morning. If you want to take pictures or just enjoy the quiet, come here. We came here at, I think we got here just before 10. So any, oh my God. So any, any earlier than 10 is great. Eight or nine if you can. I don't actually know what time it opens. No, I don't. We'll, put it, we'll put it down below. <laughs> So 
we've just made it to Shpuha Beach. It was quite a walk, about a 20 minute walk I think to get to the main bit and then we had to choose between the entrances. We heard before that there were four entrances all priced differently um, but this time round a guy who had just come back from the beach said there were two entrances one which was three dollars which is about two pound fifty so sixty pesos or the other one which was a bit bougier um, that cost about ten dollars so obviously no brainer we chose the cheaper version cheaper option and now we are on the beach it is the quietest beach we've been to so far i think probably because you have to pay for it and the sand is as smooth as butter and the color of the ocean is just breathtaking it's like a turquoise blue i'll show you so if you've enjoyed following along with us today go like this video and make sure to subscribe for more So we just finished off at the beach for today. Uh, we lost track of time a little bit and had a really, really nice relaxing time on the beach. Uh, there's like a little bar area where you can buy... Lots of booze. Yeah, you can buy beer and snack and snacks and stuff. And I think they serve chips, which is always our go-to. Uh, being vegans when we're out, out and about and we actually need something to eat, but we haven't planned anything and there's no like, you know, vegetarian or vegan restaurants around, we always end up getting chips, don't we? Yum. Yeah, amazing. We didn't get any today though, because we brought our own food. We're just on our way back now to grab a colectivo and get back to Playa. So we just made it back to Playa del Carmen. We had a bit of an eventful uh, drive back. We got stuck in traffic for a little bit, which is a bit like boring, right? But then some car was changing lanes and we, I think he, was on his phone or something um and he hit us he hit the collectivo whoops <laughs> yeah not good yeah and the driver of the collectivo literally made him pay and he wasn't happy with how much he paid because he kept taking money out of his wallet and adding to his wallet of cash yeah <laughs> which was really funny no idea what was happening there but the guy the driver bad, no it wasn't bad no he just like he just clipped us but yeah the driver was out there and he was like reaming him out and he opened the door and he was like, look at all these people. Like he was speaking Spanish, but. We can kind of gauge what yeah, he was Yeah, you can gauge that he was just not happy about Probably, it. Probably like, you could have killed every single one of these passengers. <laughs> yeah, just for reference. Drama. Every other journey that we've had in Mexico has been good. Smooth, effortless, Smooth. perfect, no drama. Yeah, Happens. but this one wasn't. We're ending the day by meeting up with a couple of friends. Like because the collectivo came back so late, we haven't managed to get Dress back. Up and get ready. Yeah, get back and actually shower and get ready. So we just figured that we're going to go a little bit smelly, a little bit sandy, and probably not stay for not probably not stay for that long, really. So we've just made it home. We had dinner with some friends and some new friends, which we didn't manage to vlog because we forgot. <laughs> Um, but well, it was... I took a little video on my phone. Oh, good. But... We'll post that in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really lovely. We had lovely smoothie bowls. We love smoothie bowls. Um, and now we're off to bed because it's 11pm. So see you in the next video.